Bottom of the eighth, and look who's on the mound. Jose Reyes was ready to pitch for the first time in his professional career. Ryan Zimmerman was not ready for him to pitch, and we already have controversy. Jose looks very nervous. <laughs> and he throws oh. just the way he does from shortstop. That little short arm ball, a fastball at 80 miles an hour in for a strike. And wasting no time, and Zimmerman lifts one out to right center. Back in the gap goes Jackson with Nimmo, and Nimmo makes the catch on the warning track. And Reyes now has an ERA. It's zero. Nice. His 1,843rd Major League game, his first one ever to appear on the mound. Now, the all thing, all thing about everyday players is when we see his breaking ball, when he breaks that out. If he does, he's got to throw at least one. He's throwing around what 89 it said 80. And Juan oh, Soto takes a 77 mile an hour pitch for a strike. There it is. The first breaking <laughs> ball and Soto <laughs> gets a kick out of that. Soto a 19 year old kid from the Dominican who you know was a baby when Reyes started his <laughs> major league career. Well, he grew up idolizing Jose. Backdoor hook for the strikeout. Come on, Jose. One, two. Oh, oh he, he tried. tried. He tried it. No. <laughs> Got to pull the shade. <laughs> Get it out in front and snap it. And he makes him move his feet. That's the hardest pitch he's thrown at 83. Soto drills one deep down the line. Foul. Keep it away. This is how it all started. Reyes was rearing and ready to go. Zimmerman wasn't even in the batter's <laughs> box yet. <laughs> just, just wait a second. See this at the corner. <laughs> The thing is, Reyes is always ready to hit, too. Remember when he used to lead off and he'd be out there in the on deck circle 10 minutes before the game started? That's right. That's the first time I've ever seen him nervous on a field. I'm not kidding. I think you're right. And Soto fouls off another one. 87, he's just getting warmed up. <laughs> Another pitcher with a single digit running. Yes, that's right. This is at some point Soto's got to respect his elders here, doesn't he? No prisoners. No prisoners? No prisoners. Come on. Have you have you no empathy? I took Tommy Hutton deep in St. Louis for three run shot. Soto lines one at the right field. He's got a base hit. Nimmo goes over and tracks it down. Soto heads for second. And he slides in safely with the first ever hit given up by Jose Reyes. Soto's third hit of the night. Meanwhile, Reyes is wearing Jacob DeGrom's glove. Trying to get a little magic to rub off. That cannot be his gamer. That's got to be a second. There's Matt Adams, and he takes curveball outside. Adams up for the second time. Flight out is only at bat. Jacob wants to see his glove succeed. And Adrian Johnson, you got to punch a hole in that mask. Start opening up that strike zone. Anything close has got to be a strike. Uh -oh. Adams hits one out to right center. Back in the gap goes Nimmo. And that's out of here. No, it's not. It's the expanded interference. So it's going to be a double that'll bring in a run. Ball went over the wall, but they say a fan interfered. And so there's the first run against Reyes to make it 20 to 1. I don't know if I don't think he interfered. interfered. Oh, that's a home run. And look, guys, come on. Let's make it snappy here. Um, they're going to call that a home run. That it should is, be a home run. It is a home run. I mean, it should be a home run. 
ball does not need to clear that white railing. It just needs to clear the uh, the Pat. green at the top of the fence. The, the fan really did not have no. the ability to interfere. That's that's definitely a home run. They're going to hold. And they're going to stay with it. Oh no! They're going to. Oh. They're going to go to replay. They, oh. they have to. Oh. Just just you know, for Adam's sake, can't take a home run away from him. That that definitely should be a home run. Yeah. Be a quick decision. And now, you know, Reyes is going to lose his rhythm <laughs> during the replay. Exactly. He should be throwing some pitches, staying loose. So it all started out so well for Jose, retiring his first batter. Zimmerman on a fly ball, but then Soto battled it for 10 pitches before lacing a double. And Adams takes him to the top of the fence and beyond. We'll see what the umpires come up with. Jerry Lane and Mark Wagner are in the replay center with their crews, so it's either 20 to 1 or 21 to 1. There's only one way to really get hitters out if you're an everyday player. You either have to have real stuff, you know, good slider or curveball, whatever, or you have to throw so slow right. that it's below the hitting range. Because if you throw 75 or so, that's kind of batting practice. Exactly. Right? Yep. Looks like we might have a decision. Oh, come on. Here we go. And it is a home run. So Matt Adams with a two run homer. It's 21 to 1. The first time in their 57 year history the Mets have ever trailed a game by 20 runs. For Adams, his 17th home run of the year. And the Nats fourth home run of the night. <sighs> Jose's he's getting tired. He's dropping that elbow the arm down on that breaking <laughs> ball. Well the Mets still have Devin Mesoraco in the dugout. Maybe he'll uh, he'll be on in long relief. Nope. Curveball's not working for him. <laughs> See that that to me is a strike in a 21 to 1 game. Right. And Taylor takes a walk. <laughs> this two game series closes out tomorrow with a new time start. Noah Syndergaard makes his return for the disabled list as the men start a brand new month. We'll come to you with pregame coverage at 11:30 a.m. tomorrow. It's Matt Weeters, and Reyes having trouble locating the strike zone. You get a little hesitant in that strike zone after you just gave up a two-run bomb. And that was close enough to come call on, strike. Adrian. Yo. Mark Reynolds on deck to pinch hit, and now three and zero to Weeters. I think Jose can do a wind up if he wants. No one's going to run. So back to back walks. So four straight base runners now after Reyes got his first man out. And now Mark Reynolds takes a strike. So there you go. He's relocated the strike zone. Uh oh. Pressure. Oh, and a strikeout yet. Pressure on Reynolds. <laughs> oh, 2. Oh, he just got a piece of the breaking ball. <laughs> well, you know, if you're going to strike somebody out, Reynolds is certainly a prime candidate. Over his career, he's been a uh, a guy who strikes out a ton. Reyes looking for that punch out instead of fly ball to center field. Chases Jackson back, away back near the wall. It's out of here. Oh Lord. Mark Reynolds adds a three run homer. And it's 24 to 1. So the Nats who home 23 on the Mets last year on April 30th do that one better. 24 to 1 tonight. Uncle. Fine fastball. Oh, down the pipe. Now 
Now Trey Turner up for the seventh time in this game. Now you know what it feels like, Jose. Look fun. Looks so easy when you guys do it. Not always, but I mean, didn't have a pitcher finish the first. I hate to see Jose not finish the ninth. Well, I mean, or the eighth. What's sorry. what's the limit? I think there is one. He doesn't have a a, a, a pitch count limit. No pitch count. He has a strike three and two to Turner, who has three hits and a walk tonight. Officially three for five. And he lines one to center field for another hit. Oh boy. A four hit night for Turner. And the fourth hit Reyes has given up in this ninth inning, and oh. in this eighth inning, including a couple of home runs. I was going to say, have one of these infielders come in and talk to him, but they're all so young, they don't know what to do. No. But one of them should say, hey, listen, you're having fun. We're going to get a couple outs. Let him put it in play. We got it. Something. I think he's uh, talking with his uh, his compatriots there. What do I do next? Here's Rendon. Rendon has three hits. He's driven in four runs. How many times do you get seven plate appearances in a nine inning game? Don't flies one out to left. This one might be playable for Conforto over near the sidewall. He reels it in in fair territory, and that's the second out. So Rendon, who hit a home run against Kevin Ploiecki last year in that 23 run Nationals barrage, unable to cash in on the position player this time. And Wilmer Defoe will come up with two out. Reyes gets fastball in for a strike. Feel a little better here. Defoe's not known as a home run hitter, so feel feel a little more aggressive. 85. Well, now he's again got it set out for that elusive punch out on his 39th pitch of the inning. He goes to the curveball. Doesn't have an out pitch. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to split her. <laughs> Get out. One two. And Tifo has to jump out of the way. Two and two. Forty pitches deep into this eighth inning, and Ray is still looking for the uh, escape hatch. And Defo rifles one to right. Nimmo lays out, can't get it, and roll back to the wall. Turner on his way to third. He's going to score easily. Defo heads to third. He's got an RBI triple, and it's 25 to one. I think this is just to give Jose a breather here. Dave Island going out to have a chat. I like to try by Nimmo, right? Yeah. Just trying to rescue his player. Well, Paul Seawall is going to get up in the men's bullpen. The men's obviously didn't want to use Seawall, but with Reyes having I thrown 41 pitches and giving up six runs in this eighth inning. So, um, 26 runs is the most the Mets have ever given up. 25 is the number right now. And the Nationals batted around in the first. Well, they got him out. Zimmerman's been made the one of the outs. Hit one to the warning track at right that Nimmo caught. A couple of curveballs from Reyes, and he gets ahead again 0 and 2. Pitch number 44 for Jose. And the very slow curve is pulled foul. <laughs> 49 miles an hour. Ephus. Let's <laughs> try that again. Throw it slower. <laughs> and he hit, hit him. him. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. Serve it. Thinking like he's going to charge <laughs> after getting hit by a 54 mile an hour curveball. How to get out of the way? <laughs> oh, 
Jose's probably saying, please charge. Maybe we both can get thrown out. Oh, my. <laughs> you know, it was fun when it started. I don't think it's quite as fun anymore. It's not. Here's Soto, and he pulls one over the bag, and that's just foul. Almost waffled Trip Gibson down the first base line. Well, we saw Jacob DeGrom throw a 45 pitch first inning in Philadelphia earlier this year and get pulled. Jose just threw pitch number 47 and he's still out there. Oh, two to Soto. And he punches that one down the left field line. Conforto gets over to grab it. Oh. And the inning finally comes to an end. Jose Reyes's professional pitching debut, six runs in an inning of work. In the night, I, uh, me and Mika, we was talking uh, during the fifth, sixth inning, you know, but I was ready to give me the extra pitch, you know, I was able to do it. Is that something you had wanted to do at some point? Yes, in 2010, uh, when Jerry Mar was uh, my manager, you know, I told him that I, I want to play center field. At least one one game before I retire and pitch one inning. So, in last year I was able to play half a inning, half a inning in Milwaukee and center field. That was good, you know. And today was the the other story that I was dreaming always about it. You know, pitching don't went that way the way that I expect. You know, but come out of the inning at least. You, you threw. I mean, uh, Dick Soto was even like laughing when he was stepping to the plate. Did you notice that? Did, did you actually enjoy it? Was it fun? I guess, or was it? Because you have to, you know, throw so much. It was you know, tiring. Uh, when you get in the mouth before you throw a pitch, it's, it's fun, you know. But when you start to see people hit a home and stuff, you know, and you get more serious because <laughs> you're not a pitch, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to see that, you know. So I want to throw zero out there, you know. But like I said, I, I do the best that I can.